Good morning. It is indeed a beautiful morning, all soft in the delighted frame of mind. Good morning and welcome you all to Model Engineering College, the place where you can manifest your dreams, explore your skills, improve your talents, and reach your targets, your ambitions. MEC provides you with the best mentors for various technical and non-technical areas. And, and I, know I know that, that you are all very, very, much, very much excited, excited to, be to be a M M M M M M to be, to be the, the breadth of model engineering college. Yes, this is a proud moment. And you're going to explore the specific journey towards your dreams. And MEC is here to pave the way for that. Once again, Once again, we welcome, we welcome you, all you all to this prestigious institute. First, first of, all, of all, I invite our first year coordinator, Radha Ma'am, Assistant Professor of our college, college, to give, give you a welcome message. message. My dear students, hearty and warm welcome to your new campus, Model Engineering College. First of all, congratulations on your success and we appreciate the hard work you have put in all these years to reach where you stand now. Today is the beginning of a new chapter in your life. Naturally, you'll be very curious and excited to familiarize yourself with the new surroundings. We, the faculty, staff and the entire student community here are equally excited to have you among us. Myself, Radha Balakrishnan, from the Department of Applied Science, is the academic coordinator for you. Due to some urgent personal matters, I'm sorry that I could not be there with you today, but I would love to welcome you all to the one-day induction program where, where you will meet your teachers and peers. A hub of academics, students' clubs, literary, arts, and sports activities other than the technical festivals here. So be proud and look forward for a wonderful campus life, hoping that the world does not shut you down with more lockdowns. Once again, best wishes and a hearty welcome. Let's begin the one-week induction program, lighting the lamp, with prayers. May the true knowledge wipe away the darkness and spread light in your mind and enlighten your wisdom. Thank you. We will meet soon. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Now let us mark the beginning of this journey by lighting the lamp. I request everyone to light the diyas given to you.
In work, the presence of God marked this beginning gracefully. I request all of you to rise up to the prayer. ृतमय मंगल लोका समस्ता सुखिनो शांति 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 At last, this beautiful day has arrived. I'm sure you all have been eagerly waiting for this day. New friends, new pe people, new faces. It's definitely going to be a new experience for all of you. So without much delay, I wholeheartedly welcome you all to Model Engineering College, one of the best colleges of Kerala. For the past 28 years, Government Model Engineering College has empowered its students to pave the way for excellence and innovation in the field of engineering and technology the institute is affiliated to apj abdul kalam technology university ktu and was the first engineering college to be established by the government of kerala under the aegis of the institute of human resource development and students from msc never lose a chance to to win main placement every year it is a matter of great pleasure and honor for me to welcome the new principal of our college dr jacob thomas jacob sir was a principal of shengen engineering college and has remained successful in delivering positive results we are delighted to have such an eligible person with such a great experience to monitor our college i welcome jacob sir for the principal address
Is my slide is visible? Yes, sir. Okay. Can I start? Can I start? Good morning to each and everybody. Welcome to Mall Engineering College. Congratulations. For what? For getting admitted to one of the very best college in Kerala. So I take this opportunity to congratulate each and everybody your parents, your teachers, and everybody who has supported you for getting being admitted in Model Engineering College. Okay, we are actually facing through one of the toughest time in our life. For the past two years, we are actually facing through that pandemic. Many of our close relatives lost their life. Our parents, our relatives lost their job, but we are actually for taking this opportunity to thank God for to be with you at this particular moment. Okay? I'm starting my presentation with a word of our former president, Dr. Abdul Kalam. The word is power. The word is powered by its own life, by its motivation. What it means? As we all know, the bird has got a very small physical structure, but it actually flies. It is because of its own life and its motivation. So I can say so and so, Mr. Amin, Mrs. John is powered by its own life, by its motivation. That is, that is the thing. What I'm going to present is presentation with a little bit of IHRD, Model Engineering College, KTU regulations, model engineering college activity solutions. As you all know, model advancement, technical and for the economic growth of country through human resource development. Mission statement, one, two, three, I don't want to say it. You can read it. To provide education, to ensure the aim education is realized to provide leadership and support to ensure optimal and flexible system to enable those interested to benefit. IHRD management is governed by the two bodies. One is the governing body, which is headed by the Honorable Minister of Higher Education as the chairperson, and the Chief Secretary as the Vice Chairman. And the Executive Committee is headed by the Honorable Minister of Higher Education and the Principal Secretary of Higher Education as the Vice Chairperson. Our Director is the Member Secretary. So what I mean to say is that IHRD is a Government of Kerala undertaking. It is fully owned and controlled by the Government of Kerala. Little bit about IHRD history. I can authentically say about IHRD because of the fact that I'm the first regular engineer in IHRD joint in 1988. He started in 87, 
for maintaining the biomedical equipments. I was the first, what you can say about the biomedical engineer of IHRD. And we that we require some human resource for that. So we started modern polluting data, whatever, and we generated what is known as the diploma holders in biomedical engineering, computer high 93, and uh, four more colleges in 1999 at Adu, Kalopara, Karnavapalli, Punya. In 2004, we started three more engineering colleges, one at Attingal, one at Chertala, and one at Kotarakara. So altogether, we have got about nine engineering colleges. We have technical higher secondary schools, College of Applied Science and Model Polytechnics, Model Finishing Schools, Regional Centers, etc., at different parts of the Kerala. So I can probably say that IHRD has got the the maximum technical institution in Kerala with over 1,500 technical staff. So our vision is to enter a student entry to an IHRD campus at the age of 13 at technical higher secondary school. They can gain the fundamental knowledge in electronics and computer science. They can choose his career in diploma or in uh, applied science basic degree or in engineering degree and further go for their masters as well as PhD in one campus under one number of charity. So this is about education. We have got engineering colleges, polytechnics, applied science colleges, technical higher secondary school and others. So come to modern engineering college, Trikakara. This is the first engineering college under IHRD. And it is the cornerstone of technical education in Kerala in what you can say about self-finance. It is fully owned and controlled by government of Kerala. Initially, it was affiliated to Cochin University of Science and Technology. Later in 2015, it is affiliated to Kerala Technological University. The mission and vision statements of Model Engineering College is to evolve into an academy of excellence to serve the emerging knowledge society. The mission statements are, M1, implement quality education through teaching learning process. Inculcate culture of technical innovations and creativity. Instill high standards of professional ethics and social values. These are our mission and mission statement. These are very important as well as an institution is concerned. So the Board of Governors of Model Engineering College is headed by Professor Eldo, Civil Engineering Department of IIT Bombay, and our director as one of the member and other members as, as shown in the slide. Principal is actually the member secretary. So this is actually the timeline of model engineering college, which is started in 89 at Edapurli High School campus. We started with computer science, electronics, and biomedical engineering, affiliated to Cochin University of Science and Technology. And our first batch passed out in 1983. In 1994, we shifted to this particular campus, Trikakara. And the most important, almost the vital thing I have said about the timeline is the visit of Professor Richard Stoltman to the Trikakara campus in 2001, who is known to be the father of free software and other things. Then our college was one of the very few college which was actually done the TQ phase one and it is accredited. 
And uh, in 2007, it got accredited in all branches. And in 2008, we have started three PG programs, VLSI, optoelectronics, and in signal processing. In 2009, we started that undergraduation program in electrical engineering. And uh, Cochin University considered or approved Model Engineering College as its research center. It's one of the very rarest things that has actually happened in the history of Cochin University. And uh, we started image processing under computer science department in 2011. We started energy management under mechanical, mechanical engineering department in 2012. And in 2015, this was for our affiliation was actually shifted to Kerala Technical Technological University. And in 2019, for communication branch, electrical and biomedical branch got NBA accredited. And in 2019, sorry, 2020, we started mechanical engineering. And in 2021, we initially applied for that NIRF rank, and at the, at the very first application itself, we have actually ranked in 2050 to 3000 rank. Definitely in the coming years, it will be one of the first 100 colleges in Kerala. And new PG block, as well as center computing facilities were inaugurated in 2000. 21. This is about the different courses which are actually offered in Model Engineering College. We have got five undergraduate pro programs, electronics, computer, electrical, biomedical, and mechanical engineering. And uh, we have got four post-graduation programs, two in electronics engineering, VLSI and embedded system, signal processing, and image processing under uh, computer science and uh, uh, energy management under mechanical engineering. Presently, we have got about 30 plus PhD scholars in model engineering college registered under KTU. There are about 10 to 15 research scholars registered in QSAT also. So as you know, 95% of seats are filled by CE, 50% is merit seats and 45 seats is management, so-called higher, higher rank, and 5% is NRI. The fee structure is decided by the government of Kerala. We don't have any say on it. Then silent features of model engineering college. Model engineering college is ranked as the second in KTU as per academic performance index, as per BTEC 2021 passed out. CET is the only college which is above that, second. So we are the second one in Kerala as far as technical, technical institutions are con concerned. As I have already mentioned, we are in the 250 to 300 bracket of NARF ranking, and we have got a well-performing placement cell. I was the first placement officer of this model engineering college. I can proudly say that we, we are the one of the best placement cells in Kerala. And our ECEB and E departments are accredited, and we have got a very excellent alumni, well-supporting alumni cell. Alumni people will actually uh, discuss with you, talk to you in coming days. And a very wonderful PTA. They are generous, generously donating the funds to model engineering for, for our infrastructure development. We are grateful to, greatly grateful to Parent Teachers Association as well as Alumni Cells for all their support. We have got a very vibrant co-curricular activities and we have got a skill development platform, Kerala. We are awarded the TQ, well, only three colleges in Kerala were awarded that. We are the one in 2004. 
We need projects under DGS, DST first, more drops KSST were done for our faculty. And we have got a mini fab lab, industry funded labs. And uh, many times we won the best performing IEDC as a last NSS unit. We have got a bunch of excellent faculty members. They are actually guiding the different uh, research work under KTU as well as in QSAT. They work in different statutory bodies of academic council, board of governors and senate. So was doctoral committee chairpersons, members of doctoral committee for scholars in KTU as well as QSAT, members of different uh, expert visit committee, external auditors, functionaries of different professional bodies, invited as speakers at conferences as well as seminars, chairing the different uh, technical sessions as well as conferences, et cetera, et cetera. I can say days about the faculty achievements about model engineering college. Regarding about the different cells as well as the clubs, I have told about that placement cell, training as well as the placement cell. There is an entrepreneurial cell. Senate is actually the supreme students body, IEEE professional body, PTA, Excel, Abitu, Fab Lab, Arts Club, Sports Club. We have got a solar power generating unit. Then students associations, mixed signals, Max, EMF, and BMA. The quality assurance initiatives are the for the BOG, the board of governors actually formulate and approve the policy decision. Our academic council de decides about the academic and conduct of different academic activities. And our IQAC, internal quality in academics and other areas of campus. And our department boards actually maintain the quality of academics in department. And we have got PAC and mentorship, et cetera, et cetera. Regarding about the Excel, this is our annual techno, techno managerial first of MEC. Motto is to inspire, innovate, and engineer. And Abeto is a national wide competition that overcome the social hurdles through technological in innovation. And we have got a MEC MA platform provide the students to debate on various global issues, delegates from different countries. And we have got a very vibrant IEEE students branches, ASME, IEDC, Force MEC, Mixed Signals, Max, Biomedical Association, EMF, et cetera, et cetera. So these are our proud MEZNs. That these are the guys actually made us proud. The computer science, see that what you can say about the CGPA, 9.94 out of 10, 9.9 .9 for Shedwa, 9.9 .9 for Hari Krishnan. They are actually ranked in the top 10 positions of KTU also. And for electronics, Hasna Parvin, Smriti Shenai, they got CGP of 9.94 and 9.93. They are also ranked in the first best 10 positions of ATU. And for electrical also, these are our top pers, Gauri, Anjali, and Anna. For biomedical, Alan made us proud with 9.49 is actually the KTU topper also. So I mentioned regarding the placement. See how about that last year's placement statistics 2021. About 102 companies during this COVID situation, 102 companies visited our campus online as well as offline and offered about 457 students. We have got only 420 sanctioned intake. 
So you can able to see that uh, that particular graph. It is going like uh, anything, Aramula, Palliola, like anything. So this has actually our placement cell has actually made us proud. And proudest among this is actually our Sri Vidya Krishna Umar, who is actually hired by the Google, who is actually offered about three point. 1.6 lakhs per annum as a CTC. Even the cabinet secretary of central government, I don't think they are getting this much amount. A girl of about 21 years old, she's getting 3.61 lakhs per annum. And Ashwin Asilas Mega, they are actually offered about 23 lakhs in LinkedIn and many others. So this gay is actually made us proud. Then this year's placement, it started in October only. By this time, this is about 50 days, about what is known as 237 students got the job. 112 ways actually from computer science got job, got placed out of 120. So almost everybody is actually placed at the very first month of their final year. About 32 companies visited. Deloitte actually taken about 44 candidates. Then Bosch taken 41. And these are the statistics up to number 20. Uh, uh, sorry, up to what is known as uh, number 12. This year, in October, IEEE student branch got two international awards. Daryl Chong Student Activity Award, a bit too for a bit too as well as for Indra. Then I can probably say me, there are many well-reputed research lab, multinational companies, say any company, Google, Microsoft, LinkedIn, ANSYS, Intel, IBM, IBM Apple, SAP, G, Yahoo, Amazon, Deloitte. Cognizant, TCL, you name it, anything. MSDNs are there. As well as they are actually working in top international universities, India and abroad, as faculty members, as well as research scholars. And we have got many IES, IFS, and IPS officer. Some of you will actually address you shortly. Some of you are. IAS officer or IAS of IAS of IFS officers will address you shortly. So that's all about MEC. Then coming to uh, KTU regulations, these are important as far as you are concerned for your four years of study. KTU, the silent features are it is fully semester-based system, credit-based system, it has got a balanced curriculum and continuous evaluation. Students' activity points are there. There are 72 instruction days for a semester. And uh, in order to earn a degree in BTEC, you should acquire 160 credits. And that includes two credits for students' activity. So normally, this is actually spanning about four years and eight semesters and has got 72 instructional, instructional days, you can avail maximum up to six years spanning of 12 semesters. In the sense that you joined in 2021, you should get your BTEC degree by 2027. Otherwise, you will be marked as not fit for technology. Okay, regarding about the credit system, Credits are assigned to all courses listed in the curriculum based upon the number of hours per week of instruction. It is called LTP, Lecture Tutorial Practical. So 310 means you have got three lectures, one tutorial and zero lab. Regarding like 002 means it has got two hours per week for practical sessions, okay? 
You will understand more about that. I don't want to complicate at this particular moment. Then regarding the uh, curriculum of KTU, you'll have to study humanities as well as social science of eight credits, basic science courses of about 26 credits, engineering courses, science courses like workshop drawing, electrical, mechanical, computer, about 22 credits. In your branch, you'll have to, you'll have to get about 66 credits. And you can take professional elective course about 19. And open electives, open subjects can take up to nine. And you'll have to do a project, seminar, and internship work about 10 credits. And uh, you'll have to perform that, you'll have to do that mandatory courses made by the ACT, like environmental science, induction training, that's what we're doing. Indian, Indian constitution, essence of Indian traditional knowledge, these are mandatory. And there are two credits for student activity activities. So this is actually for a semester, this will be what is known as your grade card. It is different courses. We say different courses is equal to the different subjects. A slot, B slot, B slot for mechanics of structures like that. It has got different credits. LTP is mentioned, how many hours per week mentioned. And these, this is the general structure for a particular semester for you have to study. So slot wise, credit wise, as well as in LTP mode. Say for course one, for, for, for semester one, for A slot, you'll have to study linear algebra and calculus. It will be four hours per week, and it has got four credits. For B slot, either you'll have to study engineering, physics, or chemistry, depending upon your branch. For C slot, you'll have to study mechanics or graphics, depending upon the branch. And in D slot, you'll have to study civil me mechanical engineering, or electrical or electronics engineer. And uh, for E slot, you have got one of the simplest subjects, life skill. And you have got one lab, engine, uh, physics lab or chemistry lab, and one workshop, civil and mechanical workshop or electrical or electronics workshop, depending upon your work. So the semester one is one of the very simplest semesters as far well as your curriculum is concerned. They have actually made it very clear that the load at the first semester should be as small as possible. Then, then for semester two, the different courses are ACE load, maths paper, vector calculus, and differential equations. B slot, if you have taken that physics, you'll have to take a chemistry. Uh, for C slot, if you have taken the graphics, you have to take mechanics. For D slot, likewise, instead of mechanical and civil engineering, uh, you have to take what is known as uh, uh, either civil or mechanical. And E and F slot, you have got professional communication. And F slot is actually, uh, it is actually common to all branches programming in C. And likewise, you have got one lab and one workshop in semester two. So when you think about the academic, how it is actually evaluated, evaluated both by continuous internal evaluation and end semester examinations, the ratio of mark is to one is to two. For laboratory, it is one is to one. And project it is internal evaluation only. So for theory courses, you have got 50 marks for internal. For that, there should be at least two internal tests of two hours each. And for end semester exams, 100 marks. And its eligibility is to write for the end semester is to have, you should have about 75% of attendance. So not at the whims and fancies of the faculties, you'll be getting the marks for attendance. 20% is the attendance is most important. 20% uh, 
is actually for the attendance. For the two tests, you have got 50%. Assignments, classwork, course, projects, works, you have got 30%. And for projects, the practicals, it is 20, 40, and 40. You'll know all about this thing in detail in further course of time. But it is made mandatory that the principal should talk about all these things at the very first day itself regarding the KTU re regulations. The eligibility for writing that eighth semester examination is the most important, no disciplinary pending action. That is the most important. If you have got some pending uh, disciplinary action, you will not be allowed to write that eighth semester exam. 75% of attendance is must compulsory. Those who do not qualify shall be awarded FE grade. Minimum 40% marks in the end semester examination and 50 overall needed to be eligible for grading in a course. Otherwise, you will be considered to have failed in the subject with a grade, F grade. Okay? We, we cannot be able to give the internal marks as we like. Some of, the, uh, some of the private engineering colleges will award the internal marks 50 out of 50, but university will actually trim. It shall not, it shall not exceed 30% of that end semester marks. For example, if your end semester marks is 40 out of 100, then your maximum internal marks is 70% in the sense that you will get only 35 out of 50, even though you have been awarded 50 out of 50 by the college authorities. Then eligibility to continue the course, they should earn, students should earn minimum number of credits in a semester, in a semester to move to the next. This is not applicable up to fourth semester. This is not applicable up to fourth semester in the sense that you can continue up to second year very smoothly, but for entering into the third, some third year or up to the fifth semester, you should acquire at least 21 credits for S1 and S2. And for fourth year, you should acquire at least 47 credits from S1 to S4 for getting promoted to the final year. Okay? Then, if you score 90 and above in a subject, in a course, you'll be graded as S grade. So the grade point is 10. And if you, if you have been awarded 85 to 90%, it is A plus. And if it is 50 and above, it is pass. Okay, these are the different grades and its marks. So calculation on SGPA, I don't want to explain about that, maybe sound uh, awkward at this particular moment, but this is an example for calculus. If you got A plus, its grade point is nine, credit acquired is four, and CIGI is 36. Likewise, for all this first semester courses, you will be getting some, so, so, uh, getting some what is known as the CAGA summation of that, and uh, it is divided by the total credits acquired, and you will get what is known as the semester grade point average as 7.94. Okay, this is a sample. I have made it for you. You can able to get it. Uh, uh, you can able to get it. I will share this particular things in that uh, drive and you can able to uh, look leisurely and study the things, okay? There's a transparency, there's a feedback, course as well as class committees are there, students representatives and faculty from other uh, departments are actually monitoring for awarding your internal marks and other thing. And every course, there is a course as well as class committee. And end semester examination is for three hours. It, if it is absent due to some personal exigencies, uh, if it is above, 
they can attend the supplementary exams without re-registering. If your attendance is 75% and no disciplinary pending action. Candidates who received F grade can also write that supplementary exam, supplies, it is generally called. Eh? All others have to re-register course in the sense that they'll have to sit along with the junior batch to continue the course, to continue the course. So the two credits for students' activities, not only your academic, your co-curricular activities are also very important as well as the KT is concerned. And you'll have to acquire 100 activity points by seventh semester. How we can able to get this 100 points? You'll have to join NSS or NCC. Thereby you can able to get 70 points, not only merely join, but what is known as minimum eligibility to get that particular, uh, particular certificate from NSS or NCC, 70 points you will get. You should have an active member or an office member of professional bodies like IEEE, BMA or anything in the college, elected office bearers of students forum, member or cat, captain of games and athletic teams, you get 20 or 30 points. If you are a member 20 or a captain 30, executive member of students club, 20 points, volunteering important college functions. Many of your seniors are actually now in this particular function, they are actually volunteering. They are actually getting 20 points. So they have to do at least for two semesters. Likewise, <coughs> sorry, you can able to get this uh, 100, uh, 100 points, 100 uh, activity points before seventh semester. Then only you'll have to get your degree. If you are good in one, uh, some creative project work, you can also acquire 40. Likewise, eh? awards in the projects, in the college uh, projects for initiation of startup, 60. Venture capital, about 80 points. If you file a patent during your, uh, your study in this college, 80 points will be get. If you completed a prototype, 80 points. Great weightage for what is known as patency and prototype development, as well as venture capital, et cetera, et cetera. Can attend different national conference, international conference, thereby you will get this uh, activity points. So altogether, <coughs> you'll have to acquire about uh, 100 points before getting. So we can have a break of study if incur some uh, serious illness or accidents, prolonged hospitalization, or if you want to start up some ventures, you can have a break of one year. Startup ventures are permitted. I think K2 is the first university in India which actually venture out in these fields. There is no provision for great improvement, but you can able to evaluation, you can able to reevaluate as well as scrutinize your uh, what is known as uh, end semester examinations. As well as there is a provision for viewing the answer script also. So, attendance, it is expected that you should attain 100% attendance under unavoidable success, they are permitted to avail the leave. So, total leave of absence shall not exceed 25%. Okay? And uh, due to some medical grounds, minimum can be reduced to 60% if you are actually got some uh, injury or got some accident, hospitalized for some, uh, it can actually go up to 60% on medical ground only. Very, uh, only twice you can be able to uh, avail this particular facility in your entire study. Then we have got Minimum uh, minor degrees as well as honors degree. Nowadays, everybody wants to get into what is known as computer science. Other branches, don't worry, electronic gaze, biomedical gaze, mechanical gaze, don't worry about that. You can have a minor degree in computer science also. The K2 has got the provisions as well as the honors. Okay. So for minor, you'll have to study, you'll have to earn. <coughs> sorry, 20 additional credits 
you have to take three courses and do some projects and uh, you can get a BTEC with honors. For that, you should have 8.5 and uh, others CGPA. Yeah? This will be explained in details at the commencement of the third year, but those who got into what is known as electronics, electrical, biomedical, mechanical engineering, uh, this, uh, you can get a degree in computer science, minor degree in computer science, okay? Uh, that's what I want to say, okay? So the computer science department is offering three baskets, one in software engineering, machine learning, as well as networking. So you can, electrical gay can get a minor degree in machine, engine, uh, machine learning offered by the computer science, okay? And an electronics gay can able to get a minor degree in software engineering or in networking. Okay, so likewise, the computer students can be able to get what is known as a minor degree in signal processing or communication or in VLSI. Electronics guys can uh, likewise, electronic electrical department offering uh, three different baskets. If you are interested in electrical subjects for EC as well as EC students, they can get a degree in control system. Okay, for EB, we are offering three baskets, biomedical signal as well as image processing, biomedical instrumentation, and computing in uh, biomedical engineering. What I marked uh, in yellow is actually, we can offer only one basket in a college. Presently, we are uh, offering computing in biomedical engineering, as well as machine learning in, under computer science as well as signal processing under electronics engineering. Hmm? Grace marks for sports and arts uh, competition. You should have represent university, maximum 5% aggregate marks for end semester is allowable in this, this, this case. And uh, grace mark for persons with disability. PWD candidates, I don't think anybody has got a PW, we don't have any PWD candidates in this. So maximum 25% marks uh, will be awarded by the university if you are in that particular. Huh? So the award of your big degree in by 2025, you'll be getting a degree from KTU in computer science. If you earn all credits, all core courses and projects, and earn inquiry as specified in the curriculum for the branch of study. The most important thing is that no pen will not award your degree. That's the thing. So classification of degree, if CGPA is about eight and above, you'll get first class with the distinction. 6.5 and above, you'll get first class. So that's all about KTU. Now coming back to let me see. Definitely got, I got an excellent library. Please make use of it. I know for the past two years, you are all hooked up with what is known as the digital things. You don't have that uh, what is known as that ability to write as well as read. Please go to the library and read the books. Please take the books from the library and refer the things. Okay, that is my earnest request for the first years. Then regarding the transportation facilities, college provides uh, uh, transportation facilities from these areas the Purvitra, via Karinyatra, via Adapali Tool, Katavandra via Vaitila, from Pala River Town via Tool. Please contact Professor Dr. Shine of Mechanical Engineering for the transportation availability and other thing. We have got only men's hostel. Dr. Arun Prasad is the warden of that. Professor Sajish is also the assistant warden. For the time being, I am also staying in that uh, men's hostel. Okay, so. My warning to the parents as well as the students, as per the direction of UGC and uh, ACT, that you should stay 
only to a private registered private hostel registered private hostels the private hostels must register with us as well as to the nearest police station but the fact is that no private hostels have been registered either to the college or to the police station till date it is against the law please i am warning that you should say only in the registered hostels and uh, different facilities we have got good canteen a, co a cooperative store for different materials and an sbi atm is available hmm, in the campus itself scholarship all scholarship are actually available many are actually afraid about whether if you join in msc or i am i eligible for this particular scholarship so acsc oe students they don't have to pay anything no fee as well as <coughs> sorry 5% of the students comes under the tfw tuition fee waiver scheme act pragati as well as section uh, scholarships are uh, available acbc students fee concession is available as well as the for forward caste students they are also available for some scholarship the minority students they are also eligible for some scholarship mcms in the american mean scholarship so all possible scholarship available in a government college is applicable to us also as well as if you are not coming under any of the scholarship you can now be bank loan so rules and regulations classes will start from 8:30 for first years up to 3:30 from monday to friday and we are got a strict discipline ihrd is actually meant for that ihrd is the model engineering college is the first college in kerala introduces what is known as this uniform id card and other things all other colleges are now following this and uniform is a must mobile phone as well as powered vehicles are banned inside the campus as per the government order so mobile phones only for academic purpose you can use inside that phone i know nowadays it is actually difficult but if you want to communicate anything urgently with us with the parents or anybody please go out and speak then we have got a wonderful pta mr anup nayar is a vice president dr sinivas faculty in mechanical engineering is our uh, secretary for the pta they are doing they are actually the backbone of this particular college we have got a, uh, a college senate which is actually the supreme body professor ishad is the staff advisor of that representatives from each class they will be electing what is known as the chairperson chairman vice chairperson etc etc and there is an anti sexual harassment cell headed by dr jaya miss and these are the members you have got a separate session for this anti sexual harassment and general complaint cell on uh, saturday so this is the hierarchical structure you should follow this thing if you have got any problem if you have got any request please approach your staff advisor then go to hod finally to the principal this this path should be strictly followed this path should be strictly followed don't come to the principal uh directly it is it is to be routed through this particular channel if there is a life threatening situation or something like that definitely uh, you can approach the principal i will be available in the campus 24 in the 7 okay our chodis proud chodis professor mini heading that electronics mini mg heading that uh, electronics and communication engineering professor tres prida heading the computer science uh, uh, dr mini mor heading that biomedical engineering professor bindu heading that electrical engineering professor shauri heading that mechanical engineering and uh, professor dr uh, rema devi she is actually looking after that basic science okay so as far as you are concerned you have got a coordinator radha miss radha balakrishnan unfortunately she is on leave today she will be back within two or three days okay so everything has to be routed through your first year coordinator or rema miss okay otherwise your respective uh, hod's okay then 
uh, these are the uh, staff advisors as mentors. For 60 students, there is a staff advisor. For electronics, Professor Joseph George and Kalpana George, they are the faculty advisors. And we have uh, uh, mentors also for 20 students. Professor Sajish as well as Professor Abarna Devi, Arun Sia, as well as Sushara for uh, uh, A and B batches. Uh, uh, the names as well as the emails I have actually displayed, you will be getting the booklet, the brochure, it is available in that. For computer science, Jayasri Miss as well as Murli Mawar, they are the faculty advisors, the mentors are Dia, Sinu, Kiran, and China. For biomedical, Sajita. Uh, for mechanical, Professor Jimmy and Dr. T for electrical. Eh? The, mem the mentors are Minimal as well as VG for uh, uh, biomedical, and the Sanju and Shine for what is uh, mechanical, and Vidya and Dinu for electrical. Eh? Uh, that um, mobile numbers as well as please contact, or they'll be approaching you right now. Eh? So right now we have the first week program. It's yes, and, uh, talk, uh, includes the talks from eminent speakers in universal human values, workshops, creative arts, and physical activities, and designed to develop values and ethics, creativity, leadership, social awareness, and physical activity. That's the purpose of this intention. Hmm? The first week. So this we have circulated. So the first day, we are sorry for the delay, the technical hitch that has actually happened. We never expected that such a thing would have happened, but sorry for that delay. Uh, we'll be winding up uh, this uh, morning session by 12.30. Tomorrow, uh, there'll be the address by that uh, Vice Chancellor, Honorable Vice Chancellor, as well as the Vice Chancellor and Deans of uh, Kerala Technology Universities and uh, followed by the sessions handled by the different people, different uh, experts from model engineering college and other things, okay? So those who are actually marked in pink color will be what is known as taken by the KTU and uh, what is known as in bluish, uh, it will be taken by us. In blue, it is taken offline, others or things are actually in online mode. Huh? Those things can be, uh, you can able to uh, view it uh, online. Eh? So on uh, Saturday, you need not have to come to the campus. You can uh, uh, do, I can view that uh, Shailaja teacher's message from your home. There won't be any facility available at the college on Saturday. And uh, there will be some concluding events uh, and talk regarding that uh, uh, social harassment, anti-sexual harassment, etc. Hmm? The sessions will be available in KTU. Uh, that handled by the KTU on its Facebook page as well as in V Console. Eh? There will be limited number of users available in V Console. So please make use of that Facebook page for viewing that. Okay. It will be telecast, it will be broadcast uh, uh, live at the college. Okay. So uh, the academic calendar that is published uh, by the KTU yesterday. Uh, Semester starts from today, and uh, your first series exam will be over by 14th of January 2022. And the last date for the second series exams is February 19th of 2022, and the class ends on March. Okay, you'll be getting your what 90 session day all these uh, uh, ABCs. And your age is actually very fond of different uh, bikes and other things. You are all addicted to computer games, I know. Drugs also, it is commonly available in Ernagalam as well as in Trikadara. And you are also addicted to different social media. And definitely, definitely you should have some fun activities, but you should have some control of this is a warning, ABCs, alcohol, bikes, addiction to computer games, drugs, addiction to so, uh, electronic social media, and definitely you should have some fun, but should be limited. Okay, 
my sincere advice to all parents as well as students. Engineering courses are not easy. Easy is not easy. I'm not, uh, I'm not threatening you, but this is a fact. I have struggled myself. I have struggled a lot to, to have a pass in engineering. So I'm an ordinary man, not like you. I'm an ordinary student in 83, but I struggle a lot to pass in engineering course. So sincere and hard, smart work is actually, sincere, sincere smart as well as hard working is required. Set your goals right now itself. You should have a positive thinking that I should come out with, with a CGPA of 9.5 by 2025. And the most important thing is actually your self-confidence and motivation. I can do it. Nobody can deter. Nothing can deter from that. The most important thing is that nowadays all this what is known as the place where all those who are hiring, they are actually looking at your programming as well as communication skill. So whether you are in biomedical or mechanical or electrical or anything, you should have a expert knowledge or you should have a thorough knowledge in programming skill. So we have got a course in programming in C in the first year itself. That may not be sufficient, but you have got plenty of opportunities nowadays, online courses, MOOC courses. So join in your free time and should have a thorough and should be an expert in programming skills as well as uh, soft skills. These are the most important things. So this is all I just want to say. Our former president visited College of Engineering Chengenur in 2012. And he made the gathering to repeat after him as he recited this uh, poem. So I request all of you to recite this for this particular follow, this particular poem after me. Please, I am born with potential. I am born with goodness and trust. I am born with ideas and dreams. I am born with greatness. I am born with confidence. I am born with wings. So I am not meant for crawling. I have wings. I will fly, fly and fly. Thank you. So these are my numbers. You can contact me 24 into 7. Please, if there is urgency only, you can contact me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for your patience listening.
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now I call on B. Sanjay Ram from First Year Electronics Batch to propose, propose, propose words of thanks, thanks for this for this lovely introductory meeting. Hello, all. Uh, Hello my name all. is B. Sanjay Ram. Uh, my name is B. Sanjay Ram. It's been a great day of knowing and understanding. Of knowing and understanding. I'm grateful to the college staff. I'm grateful to the everyone present staff. over here and everyone here present over here hosting this event. For, hosting this event. Thank, thank you all of us. Thanking you. No. 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 We come to the intense live stream. Next. We have department wise introduction to staff advisors and head of the departments. Let's begin the new journey and hope model engineering college become an integral part of your life. Arise, awake and stop not till your goal is reached. Thank you and all the best to all of you. Handing over to the HODs and class advisors of the respective classes.